Hello out there in TV land. This is Brian over in Hawaii and I just bought the Vantech uh, steel first generation ladder rack for the uh, Honda Ridgeline. And I got it out of the box and everything looked amazingly well engineered and like it was gonna go right together without any trouble. And I followed the directions to a T and uh, I found out that the the holes that they give you on this back bar, they give you two sets of holes because the rear end of the truck is an inch and three quarters narrower than the front end of the truck. But when they sent this over to the engineering department, they said make the back end of this rack an inch and three quarters narrower. And they made it an inch and three quarters narrower on both sides. So you can see there's two sets of bolt holes here for the rack system. And if you follow the directions, it says to put the rear rack bars on the inner set of bolt holes. And if you do this, the arms are at an angle like this and they don't really work out very well and it'll look silly and you will be frustrated with how the rack fits. So what I have done is I took and used the outside holes on the driver's side of the truck and I used the inside set of holes on the passenger side of the truck and I cut with my over here took my handy dandy sawzall and I cut an inch and three quarters off of the end of the passenger side bar so that I would have the same amount of extension coming out on from the front and the rear. So the back bar will be an inch and three quarters narrower but they will have the same amount of overhang. So if you have your first generation uh, Vantech Ridgeline rack installed and you're frustrated with how it's working try using you could you don't even have to this is if you're anal retentive like me you'll cut that off to make them all have the exactly the same overhang but uh if you don't care leave one side long and it'll have a lot better fit they sent me the aluminum uh diagonal braces so they're not too coordinated over there in the shipping department or the assembly department uh but they did promise to send me out a new set of the steel diagonal braces. The aluminum ones had a different bolt spacing. Also, these bolts are a little bit short. They tell you to uh, put this foam spacer in this area here. And I have left that foam spacer out because uh, as you can see, the bolts are just getting into the nylon right there. And I would like to have full engagement. I also used Loctite on all these. And they sent a funny collection of bolts. These are stainless steel with a cadmium washer. And uh, again, the bolt is stainless and then the nut is cadmium plated or galvan not galvanized, cadmium plated. So uh, this is not real, real thought out. Uh, these are all cadmium regular steel bars. So I'm probably giving this about a two year life expectancy on this rack out here in Hawaii. It's gonna rot right off the truck, but I needed a rack to haul paddle boards and carpet and all kinds of construction materials. So uh, it should be a lot of fun. So if you have bought your Vantech first generation steel rack, uh, I highly recommend removing an inch and three quarters from the rear bar and utilizing the inner on one side and the outer on the other side. And that'll make these plates sit flat. Originally I had to put some washers in here and uh, it didn't really uh, didn't sit well with me. And these don't line up. You can see how all the vertical bars on the rack line up perfectly now. And originally they were not doing that. So any questions or comments are more than welcome. I will be probably posting a lot more Ridgeline stuff as I go. I've had this truck for almost six months and I love it so far. Thanks for watching.